when it comes to knowledge, Thomistic knowledge is that which sees a single part of a phenomenon but paints the whole phenomenon with that particular quality. All women are cheaters. Who says this? Now the man whose last couple of partners have cheated on him. He's taken an infinitesimally small, tiny fraction of the human population of, of females and painted them all with the same brush. Patently absurd. But to him, it's the truth. All police are racist. All protesters are rioters. We know this isn't the case. So why do we believe it? Because the thought texture of Thomas has taken root in our thinking. So it wrongly attributes a part to the whole of something. Rajas splits things up into different factions. There's division and demarcation. We're not just Americans. We're also black Americans or Latino Americans or white Americans or... We're not just humans, we're gendered and monogendered and transgendered. We're not just this orientation, we're that orientation. We're not just this political affiliation, we're this, that. There's a huge fracturing. Now it's important, of course, that we understand the distinctions that actually exist in nature. Men are not women. There's a distinction there. There are different cultures, different genders, different orientations, they are natural phenomena. So we're not talking about our ability to correctly categorize things that have different qualities. When we talk about Rajas seeing division and demarcation, think of it more in terms of seeing only division and demarcation. What we lack when we are Rajasic is the vision of an underlying unity, and that is sattvic knowledge. So sattvic knowledge, of course, has the clarity to recognize individual differences, but sattva has a deeper clarity again to also see an underlying unity. And when we say see an underlying unity, we're not just talking about a concept. Any reasonably intelligent child recognizes that, yes, even though we've got Republicans and Democrats, males and females, this race, that race, we're all Americans. We all know this. We're all Americans. We're all Indians. We're all New Zealanders. But knowing it conceptually is not the same thing as having insight. So what is this difference? Simple analogy we use. Let's say you are in a foreign country and you're browsing in a tourist trap and strange languages being spoken all around you and then all of a sudden you hear not just your native language but that accent. I hear a Kiwi on the other side of the shop. What happens? there's an immediate sense of kinship. Hey, fellow New Zealander, stranger in a strange land. Hey, if you need anything, give me a call. Why? Because there's a feeling of oneness. How does that affect me? If you need anything, give me a call. Yeah, let's catch up. Yeah, let's do something together. We feel at one with that person because we have the insight of an underlying sameness. Yeah, that person wants to go and see the museum. I want to go to the bars and the clubs. But hey, those distinctions are playing on the surface of a deeper unity. So it's not just conceptually understanding it. It's having it true for our subjective experience of the world.